What's going on guys? Manny Mac here, back for the Figure Wrestling Alliance Adventures in Toyland. We have an awesome one here to check out, guys. From WCW, from the Dungeon of Doom era, Zodiac. Another likeness of a character of Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Awesome. Love this figure. Love the WCW era. Uh, this is a cool one to have. This is from the Collector's Edition from the WWE Collection. Uh, I think this is an awesome figure, guys. You get the uh, Certificate of authentic Authenticity, uh, which just shows how awesome this figure really is. Uh, True FX, I think, did a great job. So let's let's dive into this one, man, and check it out. Um, as you can see, guys, you get a different head, different set of hands. Uh, this is the first time in this line that you have a Zodiac, guys. A warrior who feels neither pain nor pleasure has walked in the darkness and light, joined the Dungeon of Doom to destroy Hulkamania. Yes, no, yes, no. The land of the yin and the yang. Zodiac, guys. Awesome figure. Let's open it up and check it out. You guys, this is an awesome figure. The tassels are real. Uh, they definitely have a cool feel to them. Uh, extra head is always awesome. This look of this figure is great. I think they did an awesome job. Movability is there. Guys, I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. You got to look up Zodiac on YouTube from WCW or on Peacock if you don't know who he is. Awesome for that era, guys. Uh, I think it would be cool if they came out with a lot of the Dungeon of Doom from Kevin Sullivan to the Yeti um, to uh, the Taskmaster. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It would be cool if they came out with a lot of the other uh, Dungeon of the Doom characters like Kevin Sullivan, uh, the Giant from them, uh, Hugh Morris, uh, Barbarian, Ming. I mean, there was a lot of awesome guys that were involved in the Dungeon of Doom. Uh, this is a great figure to have in that line. Adventures in Toyland, Manny Mac, Figure Wrestling Alliance, signing out. We'll see you next time.